In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to tongue block, which is another way of playing single notes that I think has some benefits over puckering. In this video, I'm gonna take a deep dive and show you how to play in this armature, how to deal with certain skills like bends and chords while tongue blocking, and I'll also be introducing you to some tongue blocking specific techniques that you can learn if you decide to pick this playing style up. Hey, I'm Jonah Fox. Want to level up your harmonica playing this week? Then check out my free harmonica accelerator course. It's full of essential lessons, songs to learn, riffs to jam out with, and more. Check it out. It's free. Links in the description. Let's talk about tongue blocking. So to start, what is it? Well, when you tongue block, you are using your tongue to block off holes to the left, and then the side of your mouth is going to block off holes to your right. If you do it it right, you should only have a single note playing when you play on your harmonica. So here's a tongue block note. Okay, so my tongue is on one side and the edge of my mouth is on the other. This concept is pretty simple, but actually doing it yourself takes a little bit of finesse. You might be wondering, if you can already play single notes in the puckering style, is it worth learning tongue blocking? And personally, I'd say yes. Tongue blocking is much easier on your facial muscles, which is a big deal for me. Uh, I used to be a trumpet player, the embouchure. It's just, it's very tiring and you don't have to engage with that if you play in the tongue blocking style. Also, when you're tongue blocking, your tongue is touching the harmonica and it's generally down and out of the way, which means when you're playing, you're gonna have a bit of a deeper tone because the resonance chamber of your mouth is a little bit larger, okay? Next, tongue blocking players can also use their tongues to interact with the harmonica in new ways, like using techniques such as flutters or slaps and pulls. I'll talk more about those techniques in a bit. I do think these skills are actually a pretty big deal because it's just more fun to play in this style. Most puckering harmonica players are just moving the harmonica left and right and maybe engaging with chords, but tongue blocking players are also using their tongue, moving it back and forth, right? Which adds a new exciting dynamic to this instrument. Like I really like that uh, kind of game of, yes, you're moving side to side, but you're also going back and forth and you don't really have that in puckering. I just think it's more fun. So to summarize, your tone will be better, it's easier on your mouth, and it's more fun. If you are a puckering player and you're considering changing, just know that some players feel like it's starting over to some extent when you switch armatures. But it will come to you, give it at least a week, and it should become much more easier as you actually do some real practice. So here's how you tongue block. So take a look at this diagram on the screen. You're gonna place your tongue on the left side of the hole that you're trying to play. So to play four blow, your tongue is going to be placed on hole three, but depending on what you're doing, it may even stretch a little bit further. It could go all the way to hole one. So it could be hole three, it could be holes two and three, it could be holes one, two and three. The further you block, the more you're gonna have to turn your tongue to the side. But in general, I don't do that that much. Usually my tongue is like direct on, it's not, you know, turned to the side, but sometimes you're going to want to change that, like if you're playing a double stop. So just know that how many holes you're blocking is kind of context dependent, but most of the time you're really only just blocking one and your tongue is going to be direct on with the tip of your tongue, okay? So the very tip, like, there, okay? So, here's what this is going to look like. I'm gonna um, turn sideways here so you can see. All right, so I'm taking my tongue, placing it on hole three, okay? And then you pull your harmonica close. And when you blow, you should only hear hole four. Again. Now, generally, when you tongue block, you are not going to have to, um, you know, stick your tongue out far and that all, it all happens right at once. So right when you pull your harmonica to your mouth, you should be able to get a single note. Here's a couple tips you should keep in mind. Your tongue should not get tired while you're doing this. If your tongue does get tired, you're probably using too much force. Next, your tongue should stay on the left side of your mouth. You don't switch sides. That would get way too confusing. I've actually met a couple players that are, you know, constantly switching their tongue from one side to the other. And 
I don't, I don't know how you do that. I mean, personally, you only need to keep it on the left side. Also, when you're playing hole one, you're just gonna take your tongue off and play like you're puckering, but you don't need to scrunch up a lot, right? Because you're not actually trying to block a hole to the side. So it's like the tongue blocking armature, it feels like it but your tongue's just not on the harmonica, okay? So those are the basic ideas and concepts. Here's how I would suggest actually practicing this. So first, you're gonna take the harmonica away from your face, right? And then you're gonna pull it up to your face. Make sure you get your tongue on the hole you're trying to go, like hole three, and then play, okay? So pull it up, try to get your embouchure in place, and then play a note. Now, once you're done with that, take your harmonica and pull it away from your face before trying again. Like if you succeed and you got a single note and it sounds good, hey, great. Do it a couple times and make sure that you really kind of get the feel of this. But if you're having some problems, like if you're hearing other holes leak in like this, something like that, right? Then you're going to need to change something and try again, okay? So when you do that, take your harmonica away from your face, okay? Because it's gonna let you reform your position between each attempt. If you're having trouble here, here's a couple tips that may help. First, make sure the harmonica is deep enough in your mouth. I mean, you're not like choking on the thing, but if you're having trouble getting a single note, you might just need to pull it a little bit closer in. Second, you may want to play with the angle of your harp. Like some people find it a little bit easier to tilt the harmonica like towards their right cheek. And they find that that might help their, their single notes in the tongue blocking style. For me personally, I play my harmonica like diagonally. And not only does it, I think, help with my embouchure a little bit, but it also makes my wah position a little bit more comfortable. So that's something that you can try. So let's explore the concept of tongue blocking a little bit more. And I want to talk about some situations that you might run into. And the first one I want to discuss is chords. So when you're playing chords, being multiple notes at the same time, how do you do that when you're tongue blocking? Well, if you're playing a full chord, like let's say two, three, and four draw, G on a C harmonica, then your tongue comes off and you just play like you're puckering, but not really, right? Because when you pucker and you play a chord, you're not scrunching up, right? You're just loose and you're just blowing or drawing, right? If you are playing a double stop or a two note chord, then you're going to extend the right side of your mouth just a little bit further to get an additional note in there. So let's say I was wanted to play three draw. Well, I can extend the side of my mouth to add in four draw as well. Your tongue position may have to change a little bit, but not dramatically. So if I do this right, I'm extending the side of my mouth just a little bit further. You might want to try different angles. And eventually after a while, it'll feel very natural to play a two note chord or a double stop. Next, let's talk about bends. So bends work a little bit differently in this embouchure because your bends are entirely dependent on the movement of your tongue. Like when you pucker and you try to bend, you can move your tongue back in your mouth. You could suck your cheeks in. You could drop your jaw. All those things generally work, maybe not for some of the deeper bends, but for, for some of the bends, right? But when you're tongue blocking, you don't do those things. They don't really have the same effect. Instead, you make your bends by the angle and position of your tongue. So let's look at this picture from David Barrett's MRI study. He plays in the tongue blocking style and look at his bends. Do you see how the front chamber in his mouth where like his tongue towards his teeth in that chamber gets deeper and enlarged as he goes on these deeper bends, okay? So he does that by caving in his tongue like that, all right? And the more you cave it in, the deeper your bends will go. You can actually practice this because it's kind of weird moving your tongue like it's not that natural and you can practice this by looking in a mirror. So you would take your tongue and you place it on the bottom row of your teeth and then you just practice moving your tongue forward and backward while also making sure that it stays touching your bottom row of teeth. So forward and backwards, and then also just try caving it in. If you practice doing this, this is exactly how you bend in this embouchure. Next, let's talk techniques. As a tongue blocking player, you have access to flutters, which is just moving your tongue back and forth off the harmonica like this. 
It's not a big deal, but it's a cool little trick that you can use when you're soloing or something. Then you have split chords. where your tongue is going to be in the middle and you're going to play a note on the bottom and a note on the top. Uh, this isn't something that I do a whole lot of, but if you do really learn this, it can be very impressive. The main technique that I consider to be exclusive to tongue blocking is slaps and pulls. Think of it like this. Let's say you're going to play four blow. Before you put your tongue down on the harmonica, on hole three usually, uh, you would be able to hear a full chord like this right? So that would be like one, two, three, four, blow. And then you place your tongue down to tongue block, but do it just a little bit more forcefully, not enough where you're actually, you know, stressing out the, your, the muscle of your tongue, right? But just a little bit more forcefully. When you do it, you're going to hear a single note when you're blocking it correctly on four blow. So do you hear this effect that it creates? It's, it's kind of like, like the suction effect that adds chords to your playing and it can be a really kind of cool subtle thing you could do, but it's also very useful as a way to accent your playing or create some interesting rhythmic uh, effects. A pull is the opposite, okay? So a pull starts with the note and then you hear the chord. Just know that you can do a slap and pull on either blow or draw notes, okay? So here's a slap, the chord's coming first, then the note. Here's a pull, you're gonna hear the note and then the chord. Okay, so that's slaps and pulls. If you're working on your embouchure, then you really are going to wanna to watch this video, which will give you tips to clean up your single notes and be a more accurate player overall. That's it for today, Jonah out.